Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to do number 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 seven for you. Guys, I want to kind of go back a little down a little memory lane. All right. So yeah, we want to go back. Think of the good times that we had. Yes. Yeah, what good times? Huh? How do you factor that in for me? <laughs> right now we're not factoring these. Okay. I'm gonna Number by the same number, okay, Jeff. And when you number that, when you multiply the same binomial times itself, you get the first two terms multiplied, the last two terms multiplied, and then double your middle term, right? Your middle terms multiplied by each other. All you're really doing is you're doubling them. So now I want you to take a look at what happens if we have the same numbers, but now we have a difference. One's positive, one's negative. So to do coil here. I get f, x times x is x squared. The outer gives me negative 4x. The inner gives me positive 4x. And the last gives me negative 16. Now, what happens to my middle terms? Here, I had a negative 3x and a negative 3x gave me negative 6x. Can you guys please stop zippering up? We still got time. Zippering up. Well, I know you guys are done. You're not doing this assignment, but just hold on. So negative 4x plus 4x, okay, what is that going to equal out to me? Uh, zero. Zero. So the cool thing to understand, the cool thing to understand is that here you have x squared minus 16x, my middle terms cancel out. So without even doing any work, without even doing FOIL, I can look over here and say, I know my middle terms are going to cancel out. All I need to do is multiply the first and the last. Because this is what we we'll call a difference of two squares. My first two, two terms I can multiply, and my last two multiply. So what I get is t squared squared minus 3 squared. Okay? So all I did is, when you have the same two, when you have the same first two terms and the same last two terms, One's negative and one's positive. All you really need to do is just multiply the first two and the last two, and then make them negative because your middle terms are always going to cancel out. So this problem gave me t to the fourth minus nine. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how do you think? What they're asking here is, how can I rewrite this? How can I factor this? How can I write this problem as a product of two numbers? Well, you got to say, how can you rewrite? This as a term squared minus another term squared. Can you rewrite 64 as something squared? Yes. What squared number gives you 64? Eight. Oh. So could you write as eight and then y? Eight y squared. Will that give you 64 squared? It doesn't matter. I mean, it's eight y times eight y, right? Eight y times eight y will give you 64 y squared. Yeah. And then, can I rewrite 7 as a squared number? Yeah. Which will be what? 49. But what squared what square gives me 49? Uh, so 7 squared. 
So I'm putting them in parentheses for you guys to see because I use those in parentheses. What product, what two binomials can we write these as? Um, if we were to kind of work backwards, writing, if, look it, we're starting here, we rewrote it as two squared numbers, and then look it, all I do is I take my terms and I do t minus three and t plus three. So that's all I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna do eight y plus seven times eight y minus seven. <laughs> and there you go. Now I have completely factored out a binomial into a, a factored it out into a product of two binomials. Okay? So we can factor with trinomials, binomials, and monomials now. You guys have all learned all different techniques. But that's a special one called difference.